Hey, welcome back to the Scholar's Journal Measles Part 2. If you haven't already watched the first part, I highly recommend going back and watching that video before this. As Eric did a great job introducing the measles virus as well as some of the misinformation surrounding the MMR vaccine. So today I'll go over two types of measles encephalitis the acute measles encephalitis and the subacute sclerosing penencephalitis, which is more rare. Acute measles encephalitis happens during the early complication of the measles infection. And according to CDC, it occurs in one in 1,000 cases or 0.1%. And it is often due to immune-related inflammation, like ADEM, acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, rather than direct viral destruction, which leaves the person permanently brain damaged. And according to CDC, one to three children out of 1,000 will die of respiratory or neurological complications. So far, one child has died from measles here in Texas, and now we are hearing from her parents. We would absolutely not take the MM MMR. Like, the measles wasn't that bad. But the worst part is there's no cure for this. There's only supportive care once the person is infected. So the best course of action is the preventative care, which are two doses of MMR vaccine that's 97% effective. The measles vaccine is unequivocally safe and effective. Misinformation and disinformation cost us lives. Now the second type of encephalitis happened during the late complications. Subacute sclerosing penencephalitis, rare but universally fatal. It usually shows up after seven to 10 years of initially getting infected by the measles virus. It mainly affects the kids who contracted the measles virus before the age two. And the symptom ranges from behavior changes to motor dysfunction and so on. If you get the vaccine, you're protected. If you don't have the vaccine and you come in contact with measles, you're almost definitely gonna get it. Similar to acute measles encephalitis, there are no cure for SSP either. We only have supportive care and that's all. To sum up the video, please remember that measles is not a childhood rash. It can be neuroinvasive and deadly. Acute encephalitis strike fast and can leave lasting disabilities. Subacute sclerosing penencephalitis is delayed, rare, and fatal. Supportive care helps, but prevention through vaccination is the key. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and share the video with someone who might benefit from it.